Hello everyone, this is Donna and I would like to share with you some tags that I've made and um, these are kind of special because um, I've used some recycling material in order to make these tags and um, the material that I've used basically is this not sure whether I'll be able to focus this yes, you've guessed it, this is a sardine can which looks like that and um, I've made it into a tag which looks like that like this now okay and um, while working on this tag I had some other stuff um, lying around and I decided to sort of um, use them as well because um, the technique was very similar and these are some of the other tags that I made so the first tag is this, um, I um, wanted to make something for Christmas which was a bit different and unusual. So I used the can um, and uh, this is the tag that I made. So I've added some Graphic 45 um, die cuts in the center, then this um, pon Poncietta flour is actually also from recycling material and the material that I use is um, from a suture pack that I um, you know that we throw away when we uh, um, use um, sutures during operations and um, I just felt that the material the pack had a very nice um, texture so I experimented with it today, used my die cut and uh, made this lovely poncietta flower. And uh, I wanted it to be more, um, to be, I wanted to sort of um, groom it, is what I'm trying to say, to fix it, you know, to, to make it more alive. And um, that material, which is very similar to aluminium, uh, enabled me to do this. And then um, this is an old. Um, paper that I had in my stash and I think it's from Theresa Collins, one of her older collections. And then this is one of the um, charms that I made and I did a tutorial, uh, I showed, I did a video on that. So it went very nicely together and then um, added some trim here. And then at the back, you know, there's space for adding another tag or um, journaling and uh, and I was also thinking it would might be also possible to hang this in a Christmas uh, on a Christmas tree so I'm toying with the idea as well so that's the first tag and then um, I used the you know the lid that you pop off to make this other this tag so I use the whole can and then it has got that uh, ring you know which you have in cans so I use that to tie the um, embellish uh, to add the embellishments and tie the ribbon to and then added another graphic 45 uh, tag and this is a crochet flower that I made and again I added some more of the um, charms that I made and here it says graphic 45 and the edges can be sharp, so it depends on who... Well, I've not cut myself anyway, so you need to be careful. Um, they are all right. And then I added another Graphic 45 uh, tag to the back of this, and it's got a sort of a golden colour, which is very nice, and then another um, crochet flower. So I've liked the way this tag turned out as well, and it would look very nice in... Um, a page in a mini album I think so that's that tag and then uh, this is the suture pack I mentioned um, the sutures um, which we use to sew um, um, you know after making an incision incision they come in these sort of packs and they are really good um, sort of soft um, aluminium like material so what I did was I had these graphic 45 um, 
papers and my stash so this lady I thought fitted you know very nicely I cut her out and it fitted very nicely in this and then I added a Tim Holtz um, gear and then some other gears uh, smaller ones which I bought and then again some of the um, charms that I made I crocheted this um, piece of um, yeah this piece which I'm using as a ribbon and then again another motif from graphic 45 some prima flower and then at the back here another die cut um, that, from Sizzix and that's also a die cut from Sizzix and um, I um, used the suture pack you know to add these die cuts and um, I'm quite pleased with the way these um, tags turned out and then here also another lid and this time I used Tim Holtz you know uh, the lost and found paper and cut out the um, these uh, this motive and then added one of his gears and then a bit of ribbon and then again some uh, charms here and then at the back again another motive and then I um, added this um, title our story and added a ribbon at the top there and again I thought this was quite a nice unusual tag you know it sort of had a very good nice texture and uh, again it would look lovely in, in a page and um, Yes, um, these are all the um, tags that I've made so far and I just wanted to quickly show you how I um, made this. So this is the tin. Actually I've prepared one already. Um, so I've taken a motive from Tim Holtz Lost and Found uh, and stuck it down um, onto the base. And then what I do is I'm going to remove all the stuff out of the way. It's going to be noisy, so I may not be um, um, you know. So what I do is gently tap all around, and um, you know, with a, a bit more force, and then you you get it um, flat. Okay, I'll do that and I'll get back to you because it's going to be very, really noisy. Okay, I'll speak to you soon. I'm back again and this is how the um, tag has turned out. Um, while hammering it down, the, the sides I mean, and this side sort of buckled to the center so you need to have uh, even pressure when you're hammering down. So um, I, I tried to fix it but um, it didn't go too well. I happen to have this foliage uh, which I had die cut earlier on so I decided to sort of um, add that to the side to sort of camouflage the um, uneven side and it turned out quite well and quite pleased with the way um, the whole tag turned out and of course the lovely motive from um, the loss and found um, Tim Holtz um, stash is really you know gives the whole tag a vintage look and I want to keep it that way so I added some um, mother of pearl buttons and then I had this charm which I made and um, it says family there which I thought was very fitting with this um, whole uh, motive with some ribbons, some tulle and some Swarovski crystals. So the whole um, tag um, turned out this way and I'm quite pleased with the way it turned out. So it with some imagination you can turn this uh, boring piece of um, sardine can into a lovely uh, into lovely tags like this um, and this and uh, these. I love this is actually my favorite. I really like it. You know it's looks very vintagey. What I did was I painted the um, the um, lid with Tim Holtz um, dab, uh, with a black Tim Holtz dabber and um, actually I really like all the um, the um, tags that I made today so um, tune in um, I have got some other ideas of what I can do uh, what I'll be doing with this um, sardine can and let me know what you think of my new idea. Um, love to hear from you. Bye for now.